turn on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for thank you give us money if you want us to comply with your climate change tenable addressing the west talking about uh, the presidential candidate of the all progressive congress apc in the forthcoming 2022 elections but i met tenable but but said that the westerners should give him money if he become the president of Nigeria, that's when he can implement the climate change agreement or agenda or policy or program of the United Nations. You see, he said Nigeria should demand money. She they should demand money from them, the Westerners. That they should demand money for them. Don't tell us to do something without giving us money. You have to give us money. Money for bank, money for grant, back for grant. That's the Nibus language. Yes, someone who is aspiring to become the president of the country is talking money for hand, back for hand. How can that be? How can that be? And some people are in the southeast. That's my grouse. Batifying themselves there. How can you be batifying yourself with such a human being? Look at what he's saying. This is completely, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, something that he made, a statement he made in the public. There's no, there's nothing like putting him out of context. You see, look at what he said. He said that if the West refused to give Nigeria money, we are not going to comply with your climate change. You see, he said, how do you prevent a church rat from eating a person's holy communion? We are poor, we are a poor nation. They said we need to plant more trees and they are not giving us money. We need to open our eyes and tell the West that if you don't guarantee our finances and work with us to stop this, we will not comply with your climate change. Tinibu was quoted to have said. He was saying it. A president, somebody who wants to become the president of the country. Forgetting that this climate change threatens the lives and livelihood of over 100 million people, particularly those in extreme poverty in Africa. Yes. Yes, according to an essay by Charles A. Ray, a member of the Board of Trustees and Chair of the Africa Program at the Foreign Policy Research Institute, global warming is expected to melt Africa's remaining gla glaciers in the next few decades. And the reduction in water essential to agricultural production will create food insecurity, poverty, and population displacement. So that is it. So, but according to the state of this climate in Africa 2019 reports, 2018 reports stated. Coordinated by the World Meteorological Organization, the report shows increasing climate change, threats for human health, food and water security, and socio-economic development in Africa. And so because of this, Africa needs accurate and current data for adaptation planning. And again, the Deputy Executive Secretary of UN Climate Change, Ovia Samad, highlighted lessons for climate action in Africa and identifies pathways for addressing critical gaps and challenges. So, you know, in, in a nutshell and in summary, after all, in summary, the report showed climate change is not a Western problem, but a global challenge that needs to be addressed by all world leaders. So when the Nigerian presidential candidate openly demanded money from the West before action can be taken, he displayed a level of ignorance towards the challenge the future generations of the country would face. So that is it. He has displayed a genuine ignorance to order into not just on climate change but you know to order matters concerning you know the economy security of lives and property you know education finance business commerce and industry infrastructure and what have you the man has you know shown ignorance and displayed you know ignorance of all these things buhari will be better than this man Yes, Mbuhari Mbuhari president will be better than this in you know, Miloko. That's what this means. That's the implication of all these things. So I'm still waiting for those who come to the side east and say Emiloko or they have been batified. We will ask them questions. Yes. How, even if we, we want to conduct an election, we, we said, okay, let's also do, go into an election. And somebody in his right senses 
We're talking about batified. I'm saying that even if we are saying, okay, let's go into election. Let's 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 let us elect someone to be president of this country. And uh, someone in his red senses from the southern southeast Nigeria, south south Nigeria. Let me forget about the Yorubas that will say is their brother. Maybe some of them will be voting by sentiment. And somebody from the south is south south or middle bed will be saying Emilokon. I think that person has to go to psychiatric hospital for proper examination. Yes. Because photos of them in the northern in the corner, they say is they're Muslim. They want a Muslim Muslim. Yes, so we excuse them. Talking about South East, South, South, Middle Belt, you are talking of a miracle. Look at what he's saying. The man doesn't have you no know, understanding of what all these things mean. Say the word should bribe him. He is known for bribery. He is known for bribery. Talking about a miracle, but the fight. The man is known for bribery, you know, exchanging money and all that. So that's his, his uh, you know, his, 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 his business. Okay? He's talking threads. So by this time around, it has shown his lack of understanding about, you know, the world programs, uh, policies, and the situational things that is happening around the world. So this is, this is a kind of person that will go to the United Nations General Assembly to speak on behalf of Nigeria. That is the person you want to elect to go and speak for you. In the United Nations General Assembly, we are about winding up boys in you know, ineptitudes, redundancy, and grass inertia in office. And someone is talking about this man. So that's why we have said election is not the problem of Nigeria because it will always throw up mediocrity. Mediocres. The world, the southeast, the south south, the southern Nigeria in general, and even the middle belt should be interested in is referendum. That was that's the only way, that's the only escape route. Otherwise, those evil politicians, they are, they will still go back. They will still go back. Yenebe nebe. Okochuku, not the same people. So there's no future, no hope in Nigeria. If you have a Meloko as your president, and he's, he's uh, you know, he's from the ruling party, the APC, and he's warming up, he's getting his ass ready, he's getting prepared every day to, you know, replace Buhari by 2023, 20, May or June. Yes, if all things been equal, he will replace him if all things been equal. And so, is this Nigeria you want to belong? The Nigeria, this man will be leading you as a president after Buhari. That is, your future is being mortgaged. Fight for your future. Fight for your freedom. Fight for your liberty. Take your destiny into your own hands. A leader has been provided you with an ample opportunity, a platform to push for your freedom and liberty. Onion Dumas and Amdekano has provided the ample platform, a veritable platform for you to demand democratically for your own freedom and liberty.